Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out this OC Go Stream Deck. So this thing is really cool because it allows you to live stream and you can have multi-cam views. So here's my first camera, here's my second camera that's at a side angle, and then here's a third camera, and then we also have my desktop plugged in right here. So what's cool about this product is there's a lot of things already out there that exist like this, like live streaming ones. But I, what I like about this one is that you can get an SD card and plug it right into the device and it'll record onto the card. So it kind of works in offline mode, similar to how something like the A10 Mini Pro ISO works. Like this is what I've been using and then this is an alternative one that's like a little more budget friendly. It's about $100 cheaper and it essentially does the same thing. This one here does not have a SD card reader. This one you actually have to plug in a full blown hard drive via USB-C. So as you can see this thing has a lot of buttons and it can do a lot of things. So most of the these buttons are kind of like you set it once and forget it. But basically the ones you're going to be worried about is these one, two, three, four for the most part. So if I press number one, it's going to go to this screen. If I press number two, it's going to go to the side angle here. And if I press three, it's going to go to the top view. And then four, I have my computer plugged in and you know, I can screen share something that's on my computer and quickly do tutorials or review videos like this. That's how I personally use it. If you're like a normal live streamer who's like on Twitch or just does re regular live streams on YouTube or whatever, this thing can connect to your YouTube or Twitch account and you can just press the go live button, which is right here. And this live button, if I press it, you can see it's glowing red but um, I don't have it connected, so it's not streaming, but if you actually did have it connected, it would stream. And the way you go live on this thing is if I share this screen, you can see right here, if I press the menu button, there's gonna be some settings here. If I scroll down to the stream, you can see that there's gonna be options like YouTube, Weibo, Vimeo, Twitter, Twitch, a lot of different settings where you can live stream to. And there's a lot of settings in here where you can really customize the picture in picture, which I'll show you what that is. So for example, picture in picture is if I press the number uh, four key here on my desktop and then I press this, you can see that I'm showing my desktop while having my camera in the top left corner. If I press the other button, memory two, this is a macro which comes pre-built on the stream deck, it's gonna be in the top right and then I can make it bottom left or bottom right. And you can quickly do like video screen tutorials and quickly change your camera around all while recording at the same time, which is super useful. Now, let me go ahead and switch back to my main cam here. And you can see, I still have a picture in picture of this. So it's like a two screens on one. So let me go ahead and disable that. And there we go. So the way I personally use this product is I do a lot of product reviews and I would, I could see this being useful as if you're, when you're trying to just get product reviews out quickly and you don't want to sit there and get B-roll. You can just have the cameras already set up and just focus more on the content and the script rather than all the B-roll shots. So, you know, let's say I'm reviewing this remote. I'll be like, hey guys, today we're going to be checking out this remote. And then I can switch to camera two to get a different angle. This remote has an on and off button, this up and down, and this is what they do. To turn it on, you press that. And then I can switch to camera three for a different angle to make it more interesting. And then you can see, I can start showing something like, oh, and this remote has batteries. You just plop it open like so, and it has two batteries that are stored there. And you see what I mean? This thing is gonna be super quick. And this entire video I am recording on the OC Stream Deck. And again, it has the word stream in it, but it can be used in offline mode too if you're just someone who needs something in your studio that's completely offline and you just upload the videos after you're done recording them and then you know edit them and publish them to YouTube. So this is gonna be a pretty good alternative to an ISO mini. Obviously with the ISO, this thing's gonna be recording all of the screens at once, but with the OC, you're gonna be getting one screen at a time. So whatever you're focused on is what's gonna be recording. So if I press two here, you can see the dashboard and these are the three cameras I have available. The one up here is the one that's currently recording so I can quickly switch between one of the three screens here. And if you are gonna be using a device like this, I definitely recommend having an external monitor set up so that you can kind of monitor what's going on. You can see all your audio levels here. You can see all your camera screens and et cetera, et cetera. So that's a quick overview of this OC Go Stream Deck. If you wanna learn more about this thing, I'm gonna leave a link to their product page 
page and you can see all of the exact features and details and the customization settings that are available. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.